Hey YouTube, uh, so I told you guys yesterday I would be doing a video, so this is my old wheel. See if we can get you. My old wheel, uh, cassette body, axle, you have your axle cone bearings, and then over here you have a rubber seal that you can, if you can get a hold of, you can pull off. This is the this side uh, and the reason we replaced it was right there one hole split it where the the spoke comes to the hole in a couple of different spots actually i never even noticed this before one there one there yeah. yep uh there Oh, so there's three right there, uh, four, five, six. Oh, that might be a one, and seven, eight. Eight different spokes that are pulling through. Let's see if they're all universally on the same side. That's the drive side. Drive side, drive side, drive side. Um, this is not drive side. That one wasn't cracked at a drive side. The spoke that broke was on the non drive side. Uh, drive side. Yep, all the drive side spokes are broken. The difference between this wheel and that wheel is this has cones and bearings and uh, two sets of bearings. You have, you have three technically. You have one here in the cassette body, but that does not support anything but the cassette body. So you have uh, usable... Uh, uh, we have uh, two bearings. I'm noticing that the cassette body is, is showing a little damage here from where the cassette was moving on the body. Um, standard problem with the uh, mid-drive bikes. So this is the new wheel. I'm going to show you. It has a somewhat of a parlor trick right here. To get the cassette off that one and this one for the most part, you have to pull. So we'll pull this uh, skewer put spring back on simple steel skewer and I don't really want to get my fingers dirty but I'll put that over there for now and we'll pull watch there we go you need to clean your cassette body there is nothing that holds this mechanism your cassette body and uh, ratcheting mechanism to the wheel. This is an aluminum axle. Uh, you have your uh, your ratcheting ring in here. Um, and the first thing you should do, uh, this is 12 millimeters and how they uh, use this on a regular bike when they move this out of the way is they use a cone cup on the top of this that fits over the top of this that takes it down to the required 10 millimeters. Uh, this actually looks smaller than 10 millimeters. I don't know what size it is. But uh, this is, you have a bearing there on the other side, on the, uh, on the uh, disc side, there's another bearing in there. You have a bearing right here on your cassette body and then another bearing inside here so you have a total of uh, four bearings on here now to get this back on you should be able to just spin it backwards to get it on but this thing is stubborn so it's gonna I'm gonna get greasy fingers so it has a uh, little seal here now what I've been doing is just putting the seat hold using the seal to hold the ratchets and you need to depress three at a time or to start with so you can 
you've got fumbly fingers like me, good luck. I just pushed it back down. So. I am not going to replace the grease in here. I just did it not too long ago. So now, come out of there. Got it caught on the spokes. That might have been a mistake. Huh. Now I got greasy fingers. Pull off a little bit. So we got the ratcheting mechanism held in a little bit. And then... Oh, Pushed back down again. Hold down the uh, the paws. There's six of six of them. Normal wheels have three. This has six. And a lot of people get these wheels, and they complain that they're noisy. And they are. They are quite noisy for. But they're noisy because there's so many ratcheting paws. Come on. Fireplace making noise. Okay. Let's try it this way. Uh, there we go. So now we're going to slide it over the axle. And... There we go. Uh, so you can clean your cassette if you want to take it off. You don't, you can clean it. Uh, I just run it a rag around the, the cassette. And you want to do this every once in a while anyway, especially in the fall because you're going to be picking up leaves and it's going to get chewed up into your drive system. No way about it. it. There's no way around it. So, I'm rocking an 11 to 28 tooth cassette. And it works for me a lot better than, uh, than the uh, uh, 11 to 36 that was on the wheel for my situation. I'm right the gears the places I ride uh, I very rarely need to go into anything lower than uh, the la next to the last chain ring uh, so uh, it's pretty easy to clean uh, There's a lot of resistance in that free hub body, but I have a lot of grease in there. It, and it works pretty well. Uh, Wheel-wise, uh, I haven't noticed any issues with it. Uh, these spoke holes are reinforced, and that's where it was failing before. This is a rim... Uh, this is designed to be used either on with rim brakes or disc brakes, either and or. Uh, this is a a Hope uh, clone. Let me put you guys up here so you can see me. It's a Hope clone, so it uh, it's Chinese at its best. But I'd like to point out this Bond Trigger wheel is Chinese at its worst. Yeah, so literally, we have a uh, a rim that failed at every spoke hole. I'm going to take this into the Trek dealer. I'm going to show them this. Tell them. It's not under warranty, but at least I can tell Trek, look, it failed at every single spoke hole. And if you think that's reasonable, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't consider that to be reasonable. It is 
the worst uh, wheel experience I've had in 50 years. All my time on bikes, I've never had a wheel this bad. No matter how cheap, I haven't even had Huffy wheels this bad. <laughs> and that's pretty bad. So, um, the wheel set, this is a Passac wheel set. Um, and so far, so good. Two, we've got about 200, almost 300 miles on it. Uh, I don't mind that it's set up for a rim brake. That means that the sidewalls are stronger than this. I don't know how thick these are, but they're not very thick. I would say if this was just one spoke cracked, you could fix it. But this is literally every spoke on the wheel has a crack on it on the drive side. This is the drive side. And every one of them is broken on the drive side. Uh, how that got wore off. Uh, hmm. Oh, that was the, the rim. Uh, I mean, the uh, spoke protector didn't do too good of a job protecting it. What does this say? I cannot read it. Uh, something about made in China. Disc brake rim twenty nine by thirty. That's 29 inches by 30 so that says right on it made in China that this is this pick sock was made in China so it's Chinese you at its best or worse depending on what you say uh, so we're running a 700 by 45 C on a 29 inch wheel uh, there is no difference between a 700C wheel and a 29-inch wheel. The only difference may be between a road bike and a mountain bike is the width of the rim. So, I just wanted to do that uh, bit of information. Uh, the front wheel has uh, two uh, sealed bearings. These are really smooth. They feel really good. Uh, not too loose and not too tight. So, that being said, I promised you guys I would do a review on the Passac 29 by 30 wheel. This is a 30 millimeter width wheel. Uh, they're 80 bucks on Amazon with just 20 bucks with shipping. Uh, 20 more with shipping. So, you're looking at 100 bucks out the door for two wheels. Uh, comes with all the uh, spacers you need to run a 9-speed cassette and it comes with two extra spokes and the skewers to match. They don't really match. I could put those black ones on there. Uh, Quality is about the same. But my back one on this wheel was bent from the factory. The end of it was bent. So, uh, I've rambled on long enough. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions about the Pasak P A S A K wheel set, put them in the comments and I'll uh, I'll answer them as I see them. Thanks.